Present nice in the post, did you? Yeah. I did get a present in the post. We're Thank for you very much for my hat. Yeah. Cooties. And it looks good. I should have learned why we had such a high top. But I forgot. But I forgot. That's alright. Still though, what you are looking fresh hair? and fly. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, it's been a while since I've been able to do that. <laughs> Oh, I finally got my hair cut. Oh, it's been delightful. Mm, you got the lockdown too. Yeah. Mm. I did, yeah. I finally got it off. Make sure everybody can see the logo, see how... even if it's backwards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Right, enough fashion well, on my hat. Enough of that. Look and fly, man. I am good. I've just had a driving lesson, so I'm feeling a little flustered. So I, I'm hoping that this lovely yeah. cooking session will be nice and therapeutic for my soul, for my body. No, no, we've got no. lots to do, a little time to do it. Uh, yes, oh. Chef. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this, this episode is going to be up a bit now from the last couple, is it? This is just a little bit. It's risotto. Risotto. No, yeah. Well, yeah, but I say my recipe, it's just, just do you think it's banged together? I love risotto. I, feel, I don't know why, but I've suddenly started putting on an accent. I've never said risotto like risotto before. It's been risotto. And as soon as we hit the record, it's been risotto. The camera does weird things to the person, doesn't it? <laughs> it, it does, yeah. <laughs> risotto. It's a risotto. Risotto. It's a risotto. <laughs> I've never made a risotto. Yeah. Never not. We uh, make it so, quite a bit and it's just lovely. And it's quite easy to make vegetarian, so this is why we're doing it. Vegetarian! And this one can be easily made vegan as well. If you just leave out the cheeses. Yeah, so what cheese is going to yeah. Oh, parmesan yeah. and mar mascarpone? Mascarpone, yeah. Uh, I made a boo-boo in yeah. the shop and bought ricotta because I wasn't paying attention, but ricotta is just as fine. Ricotto in your risotto. Rokoto in the risotto. <laughs> <laughs> do you like my apron? I do like it. Don't have a cow, I'm... man. I think, I think you might be milking it a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I think it's fly. So, um, for our first vegetarian dish, you brought back the meat. Where's the beef? Here's yeah. the beef. <laughs> Where's the beef? Is, are you not Frisian wearing it? <laughs> no, because the oven is preheating here beside me and it's blasting 200 degrees centigrade at me. Yeah, alright, so maybe we should uh, crack on then with our <laughs> risotto. Risottos. Yeah, let's feckin' do it. Let's get into it. So, first off, we're going to get our butternut squash that we've already, so we've already cut off half it. Steve will do a montage. And it shows that we're roasting it already because we're going to make a puree out of it. top half, we're going to take off the skin and dice it into brunoise. Do you remember what brunoise were? Uh, brunoise is a style of cut 
that is uh, like a medium dice, but not like a julienne, which is a very thin dice. It's like a square. Close. Well, you're right. Yeah, you're right about the brunoise, but julienne is is strips, very fine strips. Strips. The julienne is not a dice. Okay. But you're close. You're close. You're learning. Uh, that was a couple of weeks ago now. <laughs> um, yeah. Are you skinning this with a knife? Yeah, just skinning it, just peeling it a little bit around the sides. So how, how's your week been? Um, ah, my week has been uh, really busy uh, with work and stuff. So uh, I was very happy that you, you did up the recipe this week and you're back on top because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't really care to figure out how to make a risotto. <laughs> oh, so this is gonna be fun. It's easier than people worry about. I've done this little medium brunoise, not great brunoise. Any chefs out there? I apologise, but they're um, they're little. They're just, they're just going to be added into the risotto for um, just a little bit of texture. That's all. I've just added in a little bit of sea, uh, sea salt and black pepper to my. But I'm not squashed. A little bit of rapeseed oil. I'm going to put half a bulb of garlic in. No need to peel it. And some thyme and rosemary just to roast them off together. Just have a bit of flavour being roasted in together. And we're just going to roast these off. Um, did you say half a bulb of garlic? Or half a. Cup? Yeah, I put in half, half, half the whole lot. Into the okay. and try. <laughs> it's not being mixed in with anything, it's just going to be on the side. And roast garlic is delicious. Get it in there. Right. Cool. Get it in there and I'll use the rest of that garlic for whatever we're doing in a little while. Alright, this is yeah. thrilling. So get it in the oven. This is a very autumn dish, even though butternut squash is quite a spring veg. Yeah, it's the, 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 the lovely colours that you get off it. Rock and right. roll, my man. <laughs> Well, so while they're roasting, let's crack on with the rest of the prep. We're going to start with an onion. Or a shallot. Onion or shallot. Is that, I assume this is going to be somewhat of a, a fine dice on these boys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did, I, I was a little disappointed at no Irish products to show this week, but I have actually bought the shop. <laughs> there you bought the shop, I'd right, say. So. Yeah. You know what I do have? You know what I do have, actually? You wait there, one second. I got Irish grass. When the child is born, his feet will touch Ireland first. It's water. That would bring a tear <laughs> to your eye. Ah, it does, yeah, it does. And you're going out playing hurling later as well, you were saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just hitting the ball off the wall. But right, we're just going to prep the mushrooms next. So I've got I've got some wild mushrooms. Um, some of them I'm going to chop. Some of them I'm just going to rip up. Yeah, I got some wild mushrooms this morning, and they were dried though, so I had to steep them in water for I don't know, like the last twenty minutes, yeah, just to wake them up a bit. And so some some you're chopping, some you're ripping. Yeah, yeah, and these ones, I did, I used to know all the names of these mushrooms, but I don't remember. These oh. ones, rip, they come apart nicely. Oh yeah, they're kind of fibrous. Yeah. Some of them are going to chop. Oh, yeah. this, is, this is just going to go on top of the risotto. Just a bit of um, texture, a bit of garnish. different colour. Yeah, a little bit of garnish. <laughs> Now, I've ripped up a lot of mushrooms here, but which ones are you chopping and um, actually going into it? Uh, so I had I had long white ones and I didn't really chop. Um, I can't remember what these are called. Uh, let, me see, let me show you. So these ones are chopped up. Okay, yeah, they're kind of chunk, chunky boys. And then there's other ones that just came on the stem that I just removed the stem off of. All right. Mm. Now, since mine have been steeping in water, I'm getting quite a lot of mushroom juice all over the place. Just you should keep dirt. that mushroom juice. If you ever make a soup or anything like that, then it would go delicious in that. 
Yeah. Actually, I made soup last night that you, since you brought it up, because I'm um, for this episode, I made the vegetable stock that we'll be using. So yeah. I was left with a big pot of veg that I was like, I'm not going to throw that out. That's just wasting food. So I just blitzed it up into a, a lovely vegetable soup um, with a load of salt and pepper. <laughs> Bloody lovely. Mm. How long did you uh, cook your stock for? Um, I was cooking about three and a half hours, maybe more. Yeah, you should, yeah. It's done three to four hours to cook stock for. Yeah. Unless it's uh, meat stock, and meat stock takes about eight hours, fish stock takes about 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, I, this was veg stock now, so I had like onion, celery, um, so much so. Onion, celery, carrot, parsnip, uh, star anise, uh, lemongrass, ginger, um, lo loads of stuff. If it was in the press, it was in the stock. <laughs> yeah. But I'm yeah. just gonna move on to chop some chives and parsley. And then we're nearly finished with all the chopping. Lovely. So I've, I've been eating a lot of desserts recently because they come in these little glass jars and I've suddenly become obsessed with them because I can use them for the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, that's, if that's your excuse, man, then hey, roll with it, <laughs> roll with it. Yeah, but uh, I'm doing something tomorrow that I've always wanted to do, um, but never had the chance to shower. do. Shower. Shower and bathe. No, uh, I'm going to be laying down some <laughs> vocals on um, a metal song that my friend wrote. And it's going to be absolutely oh. rocking. So uh, watch this space, man. That sounds, that sounds like so much fun. Yeah, oh, send, us a, and, send us an audio link. Um, absolutely, but uh, yeah, watch this space, man, because we're going right to the top. Like this is going to be top thirty hits number one for the next forty weeks. Like, so I don't know. We're going to bring it to the masses, you know. We're going to bring progressive death metal back to the people. <laughs> progressive death metal. <laughs> oh, brilliant! Yeah, and you and no one else is going to stop us. <laughs> Oh, I won't stop you. Now, do you want to check your little dice of butternut squash? I don't want you to burn them. Oh, that's a foggy, that's a foggy glass right there. Um, oh, these are nice. These are lovely and soft. Yeah, and my other one, my, and check your butternut squash as well, because mine are The other gone. one, yeah. Yours are done cool. I'm just gonna have a quick God, I love my new oven. Just to make sure it's cooked through. Yeah, that's cooked. The other one that's been cooking now for about 20 minutes, I suppose. So Yeah, they should, they should be cooked. Yeah, so we're gonna puree, I don't know if you can see on my screen. I'm gonna puree this bit. I left the skin on, but we went peel it off and puree it. And these are just for just a bit of texture, texture added in back into the into the risotto. That's all. Right. So I'm going to puree that in a jug. Got my blitzer. You got a jug. I've got a little blitz. And the last time I brought this out for cooked up cooking, everything went up the wall. So let's hope <laughs> it didn't happen again this time. Yeah, uh, you didn't have to say that because I cunningly edited it out. <laughs> but your kitchen was Ah, well, covered. people need to know I'm flawed. <laughs> yeah. People need to know I'm flawed, that I'm not perfect. Oh, yeah, because we would assume you're perfect if you didn't tell us, you know? Yeah. So I don't know if you can see, this is really hot, so you better look. <gasps> it is it's so, so the hot. Skin, <laughs> the skin can just peel off. But I, I will just use a knife, just for... I will, because I'm burning my fingers doing this. <laughs> I'm gonna add in some, um, some of this roasted garlic into my puree as well. Pop on that's a, a great idea, because that's just delicious looking. All right, let the blitz commence. Well, 
that went way better than the last time. All right, yeah. That looks tasty. Give it a taste, I'm sure the seasoning is okay. Yeah, exactly. Delicious. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, that's what well, we're ready to cook then, I suppose. I'm gonna get um, a little bit of oil into the my pan for risotto. Risotto? Just risotto. A tiny bit. Just a tiny bit, yeah. Uh, get your onions in. Yeah, then the saute off, get them nice and soft. You don't want colour on them, obviously. I mean, once your onions are softened, Steve, get your risotto rice in. And you want to toss it around, making sure each grain gets covered in a bit of oil. Oh, yeah, That's see, it. you're going to add a little bit of wine to yours, I'm not. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm only going to measure out a, just a little thing. So if you are using white wine, you put in the white wine before the risotto. Right, now you put it in after the risotto rice and let it reduce down before you start adding the stock. So put it in and make sure it's, everything gets covered in a bit of oil? Just coat in a bit of oil, yeah, it's just oil. Once you got that pasta, add in your oil. Your oil, sorry, your wine, just to reduce it. Yeah, straight away that's going in. And I'm only using a quarter of a cup of white wine. Yeah. I'm gonna add in a little bit of um, stock to mine because yours is rice, it's obviously gonna start cooking a bit as soon as the oil uh, liquid goes in. Yeah. Okay, so let that reduce down. No, you want to keep stirring. The main thing with risotto, see, you nearly said it there, is to keep stirring it. Keep it going. And you only add in a, a little bit of liquid at a time, give it a chance to absorb it. So while the first lid has gone in, I'm going to get my mushrooms cooked off. So I've got a little bit of red seed oil in it. In go with my mushrooms. Okay. Well, let's start topping up with some of this stock then. Just a little bit at a time. You want to put too much in? Just, yeah, a little bit at a time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just seasoning my mushrooms a little bit. Once again, there's no butter I put in this recipe. I'm doing well with the no butter bit. You just wait until we start doing French cooking. That's all oh, butter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, um... And why are we adding it bit at a time? Why not just throw in all the stock and just let that reduce down? Because you don't know how much you're going to need. It all, it all varies, doesn't it? You can't, it's not exact time, is it? Um, so we're playing, we're playing with the rice for you. I knew we were going to ask that as well. Yeah, Did you? Yeah. Because you, I'm a you curious boy. Much, you, you can just... And I didn't even research that. Um, you can just mess about with the cooking process because you want to do it slowly. If you add it all in, it's just going to sit there and dip the temperature and slowly come up to temperature and bits of the result is going to be cooked, some of it's going to be oil cooked. This is a great way to um, regulate the heat and regulate the moisture. All right, um, with the risotto, no. uh, rice, what kind of texture yeah, are we looking for? You know if it's cooked. Yeah. Yeah, so you're just going to taste it. <laughs> just going to taste it. All you're right. looking for, yeah, you're look, just looking for al dente, which means to a bite, has a bite. Or is it to a bite? To a bite? Or has a bite? So when it gets to this, when it gets to this um, consistency, you can see the liquid is slightly gloopy. It's a hard way to describe it, but. And then I'm going to start adding in my butternut squash, my ricotta cheese, my parmesan, and my herbs. I'm going to mix it all together, and then that'll be it. We're gloopy, boy. 
All right, okay, my last. I'm going to add in my cubes of butternut squash now, just so they can heat back up. And then add in my puree. And the puree, so that's going to give it like just a good blast of color and flavor. Got my ricotta cheese in, mixing it through. Yeah. I'm going to put a nice pinch of Parmesan in there as well. If it's a bit thick, you can always add in a bit more stock just to loosen it out. Don't forget to season. And then I'm going to add in my herbs. Chives, lots of chives, lots of parsley. Mix it together. And that's it. That is risotto. Yep, let's play it up together this time. I have a new together. Sauce like you did last week. Yeah, I'm so sorry about that. Still so how are you looking? Risotto. Risotto. Amazing. I seem to pick it because I can't keep doing this. <laughs> One of these days, it's just going to go slop straight out. Yeah. I love how uh, we followed the same recipe and the same steps together, but mine is decidedly more yellow than yours. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> yeah, it might have been the squash. Let's have a taste. Oh, yeah. It's almost Two things like jump. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Two things jump out at me straight away. Putting the mushrooms on at the last minute means that they're not getting bunched in with the texture with everything else and having the, the two kinds of butternut squash prepared um, just gives you so much depth as you go through it. That's lovely, man. Mm. Mm. Delicious. You know, ironically quite an awesome meal. Yeah. Oh, well, it still fits with our Italian uh, theme. Yeah. Yeah, and I hope I, I hope I did a good job and I hope you're happy. Mmm. Yeah. Cheese. And it's vegetarian. Mm. People say vegetarian food isn't nice. Boom. Proof is right there. Yeah, it's delicious. It's delicious. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to go eat this and enjoy my day. My lovely Man, sunny Another day fantastic uh, cooking episode with you. Great to hang out. Yeah, mm. you too. Nice. Bye. Nice hat. <laughs> Bye. Oh, my heart, man. <laughs> it's let I'm gonna let it cook up mine. <clears throat> Got a bite. <clears throat> Sorry, the rice. <clears throat> <clears throat>